welcome to learn new technology so today agenda will be so create a partial framework with the protractor using typescript then second one create a configuration file and a test file so as far as protractor we require two files one is configuration file and another one is test file so in configuration file what we will mention is uh, what are the browsers we are going to use and uh, the wait times and uh, those stuffs will be used in configuration file then test file will be you know the regular the script for you know uh, perform the operation so that's going to know what's going to happen let's see then third one will be running our test in remote system with the below browsers and platforms using browser stack so safari browsers how we can run let's see chrome browser ie firefox ios android then finally we will discuss about browser stack so this is our agenda and uh, browser stack as you know it's a cloud ba cloud based web and mobile testing platform so that enables developer to test websites and application browsers running on real operating system and mobile devices without requiring users to install or manage a variety of virtual machines device and emulators so let's get into our coding part now so now we are going to create one folder so where we will create all our project classes so let's name it as browser stack then let's get into folder then select it then type cmd then hit enter key then you'll get this command prompt then type code then space dot then hit enter key so now uh, we could able to open the visual studio editor so here terminal new terminal so let's type npm init so that we will get package.json file so it will be created let's hit keep on hit enter key so now it's created click on this package.json file so in this file we will add the required dependencies all the dependencies we can add so once we add these dependencies it will automatically download and we can import these packages for our classes let's copy it and paste it here so here uh, the script it will convert the code from typescript to uh, javascript pretest it will co co compile then test it will convert uh, the file class files in output folder then next uh, these are the dependencies we are adding jasmine protractor typescript then browser stack local so this important package then protractor typescript also uh, we have added here so let's save it and then let's enter npm install so that the required packages will be automatically downloaded for our script so that we can import it so it started now so it started installing let's wait for until the until it's completed So next what we have to do is uh, this is uh, so when we run our test so it will convert the TypeScript file into JavaScript file then uh, one folder will be created created as output JS so inside it, it will keep on storing all the JavaScript file so what are the class files we are creating in TypeScript it will convert from convert them into JavaScript file and place it place them in output JS folder so let's start a configuration file so import config comma browser so we are importing from protractor so protract already we have installed so let's select protractor then um, then next this is the starting line of the configuration file export then let config colon then config 
equal to open close curly braces so this is syntax to start creating our configuration file so the framework what we are going to use is jasmine so let's add it here then comma the next line will be selenium address so this is a very important one so here we will give the browser stack url so that it will, it will get connect to the remote server http colon double slash then hub dot browser stack dot com slash wd slash hub so this is a url so that needs to be added then jasmine node options so here we will give uh, you know the <coughs> wait time for each uh, occurrence so for example if it's uh, waiting for the username field if it's not uh, uh, appeared then it will wait until the given time seconds so show colors so this related with uh, you know the output when it produce uh, it has to give the colors that's what we are giving show colors true silent true then the wait time for the syntax is default timeout interval then let's give uh, some milliseconds 3 lakhs 60,000 milliseconds we have given so it will wait for each element if if the particular element is not appearing it will wait until this second in until this milliseconds then the suits so we will give the uh, test file path so in this line number 13 dot then so here we will create one test folder inside we will keep our test script that's why we are giving dot slash test folder then slash uh, test.js so generally we will write script in uh, typescript file so it will convert them into javascript file that's why we have given test.js so corresponding folder also it will be created inside the output js folder then inside the type corresponding uh, file will be converted from typescript to javascript and placed there so this is test.ts So configuration file then comma next multi capabilities so what are the browsers we are going to use those details will be adding here colon square bracket so inside will give so the browser capabilities so let's open one open close curly braces So single quote browser stack dot user colon then so here the uh, the browser stack credential will pass so this is my credential BS test 50 so that should be within single quote so let's add it. comma then single quote browser stack dot key so the key which we get from our browser stack account that we will add it here so i will show you how we will get this key then next browser name so which browser we are going to use now the browser name we need to give it here then let's give the browser name as safari 
so for our demo purpose so i have given us safari so as per your requirement you can give then browser version needs to be given here so the safari version will be zero then next OS will be so the the OS name needs to be given OS X then OS version so need to be given here colon So the name of the version Safari browser is Jasmite Then we need to give browser stack dot debug true so that the debug uh, the details will be presented let's launch our browser then let's type browser stack so here you need to click on sign in so that it will take you to the login page so where you need to type your credential you can log in with uh, gmail So you need to click on next then you need to give the password so let's enter the password now then click on next button so that you will get into dashboard so you'll get the, before that you'll get the verification code to the to your mobile so get that code and enter it here So once you enter the code, click on next. So let's I'm waiting for the code. So I'll enter the code once I get the code. So I'm waiting for that. Oh, I got it. So I have entered it, then need to click on next. So that you will be redirected to the dashboard of the browser stack account. So once you get into the account, so this is a dashboard. So here you need to click on the da automate. This is the option you need to click on so that uh, you will be redirected to automate dashboard. So here this is a dashboard. So here so you can get the access key. Just to click on this drop down, you will get the uh, credential to access this account from remote location so click on this one so this is my username this is my access key just to copy and paste in your script so that you can access this account with your script so I copied so I already copied my username so I'm paste it now my the key which I have received from Brussels stack so this is my username so here you can get it the username then so let's save it so let's save it and let's go to test class so this is a class we will write our test script so let's imp import required packages from protractor class import browser comma element then by comma protractor by comma protractor 
the comma then protractor expected conditions that needs to be included so that we can import from protractor class so these are the things we are going to import from protractor class so let's add it as protractor so it's giving the suggestion let's select it let's finish it uh, with colon then describe so these are the things from jasmine framework so already as we discussed we have added so the framework details in our configuration file so that it will support us for our test script so here uh, so the suit name that needs to be given here describe so in between so as for your requirement you can add anything so then this is syntax function then open close curly braces let's hit it until end so this is a block so in between you can add as much as test case so next thing this is uh, we are going to start a test case this is syntax for test case so it within the name of the test case you need to give so let's giving let's give tc1 verify login functionality then comma function open close parenthesis then open curly braces so insert you can write piece of code browser browser is the class dot get this method so insert you can give the url so that it will launch the browser with the given url so here uh, so this is site we are going to automate for our demo purpose so let's copy this url and give it here let's save it then we need to access the username field for that element is one of the class then by dot is met by dot by also one of the class dot model so here we are using the locator model so angular specific locators we are using so send keys we can the value what we are going to pass it to the username field that you need to give it here so angular so it's uh, something so angular just to copy it and uh, give it within send keys so here uh, let's get the locator value right click then inspect element so here uh, this is a locator value for the model author username copy and paste it here so then let's copy and paste for the password field instead of writing again so here you need to get the locator of the password so this is also angular specific locators that we have so let's copy it for the model then paste it here then so the value will be password you need to send it there so let's copy the va password value so le let's include our send keys method so next one more text field we'll be having so let's uh, get the value for the locator username then so here uh, this is the value for the model so let's copy it and paste it there then the value also you need to be passed so let's pass angular let's save it then one more web element we have that the button submit button so let's element by so i'm not sure we'll get the angular specific locator for this button 
so let's add by then let's go to the portal get the locator okay let's copy this value then need to get now currently the button is not enabled that's why we need to enter the value so that the button will be enabled then we can get the locate of the button right away so here uh, accessibility so i think uh, so the tool uh, with the help of tool uh, grow path so we can get the x path of the element copy this x path of the element then by dot x path let's include it with the double quote then dot click method then this is a method that's why we are using open close parenthesis with finish it with the colon then browser dot sleep so it, it has to be wait that's why we are giving this line sleep so let's give some milliseconds so that it will wait otherwise you know after clicking the button it will you know close everything so you need we need to see the result so let's uh, create the you know ts config file that file also required for that you need to type in terminal tsc space hyphen hyphen init so that the ts config file will be created so where we will add the co compiler options so these are the things automatically generated so here i have the configuration settings for the compiler so let's copy and paste it there So here uh, you can see that you know the node models other than node models folder we need to convert every files from TypeScript to JavaScript. that's why I have added line number 19. So this is a ECMA script 5 compiler we are using common JS model. So output directly we will be creating it will be created automatically output JS folder 1 then inside it will place all the uh, converted JavaScript files there then that file will be executed. So Jasmine node, these things need to be included. Then other than this, after that, uh, this is here. Uh, you need to give the path of the uh, the look and the class file. So test this file will be converted into JavaScript file. Then it will be placed in output JS folder. Then test folder. Then inside test dot JS file will be there. So that file will be executed. So let's run our program now. NPM test for that you need to type in command prompt. So it started running. So here, uh, so terminal you need to go to terminal, then you need to click on new terminal, then you will get this term. So it started now. Hosted selenium server hub dot browser stack dot dot com so here so this is my dashboard so it started now it started launching the safari browser so it's passed now so you could see the test results now so you can maximize it by clicking on this button so you can make it play so let's see the result now it's launching the browser then so it's a portal that we have given is launched then username is entered password is entered now username is entered then login button also clicked so it's got into the dashboard so this is our expectation expectation so here you can see the logs also so those things i will show you now let's go to the dashboard now so uh, recording is there then screenshot also available browser name safari browser version what we have given 8.0 then voice then voice version then process track debug files also created true then uh, real mobile true 
browser stack uh, app logs available then next uh, voice same thing it has been also reflected here so the duration also 30 seconds only status completed successfully that's why it's giving the green others otherwise it will show the in red color so here the user credentials session id also created then device capabilities what we have passed so the, those details will be converted into the system session then so safari one passed in command prompt we are getting the result so one spec zero failure then next so this is for uh, safari so other platforms other browsers cross platforms and all all things we are going to see now so let's copy and paste then make it change for chrome browser so the first uh, two lines 29 30 line 30 so these lines for users credentials that you need to be included then process name then os version os uh, here uh, you need to give the you need to update it as os as windows so the chrome is going to run in windows platform then os version so here uh, 10 that with the windows 10 systems that's why we are giving the 10 then browser version so here you can give the browser version which browser version you require that you can give so currently i'm giving 84 then next so let's check it out whether those things are correct or not so here it's showing an error let's uh, add one comma then error will be resolved then here we are getting one error so i think browser versions we're getting error um, so let's correct it now so did we any mistake Uh, the line number oh, 32 I'll, already we have one more browser version so that's what's shown the error so it's been corrected now so let's uh, copy and paste it below so that we can add uh, we can modify it for other browsers so here uh, we can modify it for firefox so let's add comma then so here also line number 39 40 for the user credential that needs to be added browser name firefox then windows platform so we are going to run our test then os version 10 then browser version so here you need to give the firefox browser version so 79 that we require so we have given so let's copy and uh, paste this code below for another browser so let's uh, copy and paste it below so let's make it for ie internet explorer so here here also as already we discussed 48-49 will be user credentials then here you need to change line number 50 as ie then voice version will be then uh, here you need to alter a few things resolution here we can give so what kind of res resolution you require that we can add it here thousand twenty four then seven hundred and sixty eight so the resolution also we have given here then 
next after that after that here uh, you need to ask the certif SSL certificate accept SSL certificates uh, here you need to give as true after that uh, just to copy so copy these things uh, we can add two more platforms so one is for uh, Android another one is for iOS so let's copy these things and uh, comma let's add it as iPhone let's make it as iPhone so this is for iPhone so as we discussed 60 and 61 is uh, user credential then 62 is browser name let's give it as safari so safari browser is running in ios mobile phone so 63 platform so platform name so the field name is uh, iOS then uh, the comma after that platform version so version number you need to give so let's give it as 13 then so here uh, these things we can remove after that uh, device name so the name of the device that you needs to be given here iPhone 11 that we are going to use so that is our requirement that is what we have given Pro Max then So let's save it. So one more platform is that we are going to add now. That is for Android. Let's copy this code and paste it here. So let's make it as Android. Then let's make few changes so that, that it will support Android platform in browser stack. So these things as we discussed same then here the browser name so that you need to give as android then platform that needs to be updated for the android so before that uh, let's add a device within single quote colon then let's give samsung galaxy let's give it device name as samsung galaxy s20 comma then so real mobile
so you need to give the value for this field as true then give comma after that you can eliminate that lines these lines also you can remove then you can add OS version here as per your requirement as per your client requirement then 10.0 so I'm adding for the demo purpose so here uh, let's run it npm test now our script is going to run now so it's saying that running six instance of web driver so if you look at our dashboard you could see that six instance are running now so let's wait for the result firefox safari ie chrome then iphone android so the firefox is completed chrome also completed then i also completed safari also completed then samsung is still running then after that ios uh, iphone also completed so let's wait for the result so iphone completed samsung galaxy is still in running so there is also completed so let's click on android so let's see the result now so these are the ways what we have given those things are reflected so status completed successfully that's what it's giving with the green color icon then that is our credentials then browser name device version then these are the things so let's uh, run the result so how it was uh, recorded with the video so let's see the result now so it was launching the browser in the android device it's entered the username password then username entered then it will click on login button so i think uh, we need to give some weight so that it will be rectified then iphone also successfully run so let's wait for the result so iphone so here you know each and every instance are created recorded so that if we play we could see the result so injecting javascript stop session so like this you can get the result then ie 11 safari also completed so ie 11 let's see the result now so here it's launching the browser with uh, our portal so here it's entering username password username then it's going to click on login button it's so got into the dashboard then chrome browser 84 version so it's launching chrome browser so let's see the result now so as we discussed each instance also recorded so we can run one by one then screenshot also captured so let's uh, play the recording so it's got into the dashboard successfully completed then firefox so the firefox uh, windows 10 system it was used then here are screenshots also available so you can have a look on it so each page it was taking the screenshot and it's uh, it's documented so likewise you can also do that then so video also it's available 
so let's play it so how it was running let's maximize it so in windows 10 system uh, with browser it's launched in the portal introduce a new password then got into dashboard successfully so then chrome browse so here in console you can see the result ie safari uh, let's have a quick overview about our coding part so this is a configuration file so where we have all the configuration settings so you can have a look on you can utilize in your script so that you know so you can interact with the browser stack and run your script to the remote system so default timeout that we have given selling address this is important one then ts config config file we have given the compiler options so here other than node models folder everything should be converted from typescript to javascript then output js folder will be created then it will be placed there with the required classes pretest it will con uh, compile the typescript to javascript then test uh, it will execute then so here uh, so when we run the test so this is the test class so import class so import those uh, the required classes from product class so here this is the jasmine statements just then now browser.get it's launching the browser browser is a class then element also one of the class then by also one of the class then dot model it's we have used the locator for model that's we have added model then so here we have used uh, xpath then browser.sleep it's uh, waiting for milliseconds Uh, dear friends, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe this channel so that you will get coming days, you know, updated videos. Uh, thank you.